KZ fam, back with the second video of the day, and we got basically this is Chainsaw Man by Gigguk. Now, let me know how you guys are liking Chainsaw Man because to me, bro, that shit is like a that shit has to be like a ten, bro. I'm I'm sorry, bro. Like it's, it's so good. I haven't been this invested in an anime in a while, bro. Like it it just caught my attention. It, it's it's just so good. In my opinion. But I want to know what your your guys' opinion is. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, y'all. If you're new to the channel and you enjoy the content, make sure to hit that sub button. Hit those likes and turn on the bells so you can get notified whenever I drop a video. And let's get started because this shit long as hell. Chainsaw Man, let's see what this show is all about. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck did I walk into? Chainsaw Man. Easily the most anticipated new anime to come out all year. The show that yeah. we weren't ready for that would come down and grace us, showing us peasants once and for all what good anime is. So, mm. how hard did Chainsaw Man hit when it dropped? Hard. <laughs> yeah, pretty fucking hard. As expected, it's taken over uh, the community yeah. by storm, and with all this extra attention comes the extra scrutiny. After just one episode was out, already all the doubters banded together. Experts and scientists poured in thousands of man hours to collectively construct the perfect critique. The Confident CGI, that their words would be so severe, probably. the Chainsaw Man fandom would be put in their place, and the whole anime community would see the error of their ways. Here's what they came up with. Mid Chainsaw Man fans have still not recovered <laughs> to this day. But do the haters have a point? Did the anime live up to the expectations it built? Did everyone overhype it? What's the deal with Chainsaw Man? Anime fans have been eating good this year, but you know what? Yeah. They could be eating even better with our sponsor today, Boxu. Weeps, ah, tell me, did you get yeah. fed well enough? In that was perfect. I ain't gonna lie. That was perfect. I'll give you that, my guy. I'm already a big fan of the author, so external factors aside, I was already hyped as hell. Chainsaw Man yeah. was meant to be his magnum opus, taking everything he's learned from previous works and perfecting it. Chainsaw Man was meant to be the outlier of Shonen Jump, doing things its own way. Chainsaw Man starts off like a pretty standard shonen. You could be forgiven for getting a slight feeling of deja vu watching a spunky teenager on the brink of death making a contract with the devil to gain devil powers only to be picked up by an organization that hunts said devils under the pretense that they can keep an eye on him and won't kill him as long as he's assisting in hunting other devils. Then yeah. we find out there's this super strong devil that they have to hunt by looking for his body parts, which is really risky because like any devil who's consumed some of those body parts is a super strong S tier devil and you're like, wait a minute. This is just Jujutsu Kaisen again. But that's where the similarities <laughs> end. Chainsaw Man is a typical shonen in the same way that Stephen King's It is a children's show about a funny looking clown. It is brutal, disgusting, raw. It, it is, is metal as fuck. It pushes the edge yeah. of what it even means to be a shonen action show in the first place. You look at some of these scenes, you see what these characters do, and you think, <laughs> <laughs> That's not what Goku would do. When we first meet Denji, he is, what's the technical term for this for again? Real. A broke ass bitch. Due to some unfortunate circumstances, he lives every day just to survive. Drowned in debt, a bottom dweller of society. He sold his left eye, a kidney, one of his nuts. Yes, his nuts. Ah! Just to scrape by, living on a slice of bread a day. I mean, good lord, someone get this boy some boxu. <laughs> there you go, boxu. That was. That was a free one for you. But this immediately sets the tone for just what kind of world this is. Naruto, Demon Slayer, My Hero. These are worlds where some pretty hardcore shit can happen if you lay it out on paper, yet somehow everyone seems to have come out squeaky clean. Tanjiro had almost yeah. his entire family brutally murdered, and yet he's still like, oh, I'm gonna be a good boy. I'm gonna be the best boy. I'm gonna empathize with all the demons. I'm gonna make the world a good place. <laughs> Bitch, you saw your mother's bloody corpse. How are you more mentally stable than me remembering I got my tax returns due in two months? Shonen protagonists uh, have always been about preaching that good moral. Work hard, train true. hard, be a good person, aspire to be something great. Everything that Denji isn't. The man's been through hell and just wants to live in mild comfort while true. copying the casual feel along the way. He doesn't have any grand aspirations. He doesn't want to fight for what is right. He's not the honorable, innocent, safe protagonist we've gotten used to. While Goku is out there being like, Sell! I want you to power up to your final form so we can have a fair and honorable fight. Denji is here like, finishing move! Delete bloodline! <laughs> well that's the thing that- that was, Well that's yeah, the yeah, thing that- 
But that's the thing that makes him injured. Okay, Denji, I think you can stop now. I think he's learned his lesson. Oh, God, Denji, no, this is not the way. Denji, God, please, Denji, for the love of God! But that's the thing that sets him apart and makes him interesting. And this is something that's pervasive that's throughout though. every single cast member in Chainsaw Man. Wouldn't you agree, Aki? Everyone here stands out from the typical characters you see, and I'm not talking about in that usual anime way. You know, sometimes you watch these animes, and you see these characters that are like, <laughs> Look at me, I'm so quirky. Look at this weird thing I do. Isn't it so weird? Aren't I so weird and quirky? I'm not like other anime characters. And then the super weird quirk turns out to be something like, Look at me, I sit funny. People in Chainsaw Man are just actually weird. Like, I don't know, puking in a guy's yes. mouth, and then he swallows it, and then you try to yeah. sleep with him. Five hours later, haha! <laughs> <laughs> Everyone here has a few screws loose, but it never comes at the expense of their character. All too often in anime, we see these characters that are distinguished by their weird quirks, and even if they have some depth to them, it always comes off as cartoonish, the anime-esque bullshit we've all gotten accustomed to. And one thing I gotta give props for is, despite how batshit insane these guys are, they all still feel like people. Everyone is just That's broken true. in some way, like they're all missing a different piece to make them normal. They're not cartoonish, they're just fucking just weird, weird. And that yeah. absolutely works. The dynamics, the antics, the banter, the cast is just it's so perfect. entertaining together. Like, there's a scene where a bunch of devil hunters are trapped in this building, possibly for an eternity, waiting for death. One of them has a panic attack. One of them starts freaking out and goes full yandere. They're laughing at each other. Denji falls asleep. Two of them decide now's the best time to pick up smoking. Power starts spouting off that she's going to be prime minister and raise the sales tax to 100%. <laughs> and I'm sitting here being like, what the fuck am I watching? Chainsaw Man could be a sitcom and it would still work. It's like watching the cast of Always Sunny if they were stars of a show and an action show. What Are they the? assholes? Yeah. Would you be friends with them? Probably a bad idea. Is it just hella entertaining to see how they operate in the situations they find themselves in? Yes, bitch. It's all great stuff, even if the structure is a bit reminiscent to previous shonens we've seen. That is until this guy shows up, and that's oh. when things really start revving up. This yeah. is the moment when Chainsaw Man really starts showing its true colors. Within the space of 20 minutes, it shifts from first gear straight to fifth gear, looks you dead in the eye and goes, you stupid bitch. Did you really think you knew where this was going? You feel like a dumbass for forgetting the type of world this all takes place in. It is a cruel, ruthless place where your entire life can change in one instance, one bad experience, one unlucky encounter. There are no second chances and villains aren't fucking around here. And just as you start to think, damn, these bad guys are pretty damn scary. Makma is then like, yeah. <laughs> Only when you start to fear the bad guys, do you see that the good guys are even more terrifying and you don't know what to believe. Who's good? Who's evil? What's really going on? More questions emerge while nothing gets answered and you realize good the only point. thing you've really knew is that you didn't know a damn thing. This was the uh. Chainsaw Man I expected. Tatsuki Fujimoto is and never has been a by the books guy. It's like he lulled us into a false sense of security then was like, all right, you've had your fun now, I'm die. Thank you, whoever. The more episodes I watch, the faster I click on the next episode button and my only gripe is that it feels like we've only just begun. 12 episodes yeah. feels brazenly short for the story that Chainsaw Man has set up, which begs the question, am I just going to read ahead in the manga? No. No. Because what okay. I'm doing is watching the anime, then reading the manga. Yeah, that's right. You heard that correctly. I'm reading the manga second. Yes, How does that make you feel, manga readers? Does that make you feel uncomfortable? Uneasy? Maybe I'll mix it up. Maybe I'll read a few chapters ahead and then let the anime catch up. Maybe I'll read chapter 70 out of context. Maybe I'll just translate it all into braille and consume it that way. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where I was going with this. Anime is just my medium of choice. There's nothing that will replace Kensuke Ushio's hypnotic, mesmerizing soundtrack, the stellar animation, or the voice acting yeah, that bring the chemistry there. these characters have to life. <gasps> Impressive. Very nice. And let's see the official Spanish dub. What? <laughs> but there are a few manga artists out there like <laughs> Tatsuki Fujimoto, and after reading what the anime has covered, yeah, he's a fucking genius, all right? Only so rarely do you find someone who has such mastery of the page. Here is a man who knows how to use manga to its fullest potential, which he does consistently. If you're someone who's never really thought about layout, paneling, or page composition, I implore you to read any one of his works and you'll immediately realize, oh, that's why it matters. I know this because I never did until I could see how masterfully it could be used. Well, you know, you could just watch my other video where I go in depth about it. The work he's put into Chainsaw Man, the way he uses manga to convey ideas and feelings is something that would be impossible to translate into another medium. 
and so it doesn't, but what nuance it loses, it makes up for by adding its own. The anime takes its own approach in telling the story, colours are more muted, characters look more realistic, it slows everything down, not to pad out the runtime, but just so you have time to get absorbed into this beautiful world. And this has made it's some so of the good. more dramatic moments hit even harder. It doesn't just reference cinema, it doesn't just look cinematic, it feels cinematic. Almost as if this is Thanks. an anime original production, not taking its material from a manga. I mean, just look at something like this. Quiet it. I fucking love how it feels like this devil was just deleted from existence, like it's what only an eerie, outer-worldly creature can do. And it was just such a subtle thing that could only be conveyed in anime form. It really seems like the team have put so much thought into the visual storytelling. There are no lazy camera angles, no throwaway shots, and instead of trying to replicate That's what the manga has yeah. done, they've asked themselves, what is something that only we could do? They added a two-minute scene of Aki getting ready in the morning, and it is so beautifully calming that gives us a glimpse of who Aki is that was never in the manga. This is some Makoto Shinkai level of vibes that absolutely did not need to be done, which shows that someone there gives a shit. And this isn't even mentioning how good of a job they're doing with the animation. When people think good animation, they see a pretty fight scene and they think, oh, now this is good animation. Wait, 10 frames of CG? Unwatchable. But what they can gloss over is that... 17 other minutes of anime in that anime. Chainsaw Man simply looks breathtaking in almost every yeah. single frame. Fight scenes aside, there is no reason why walking animation needs to look this goddamn smooth, or backgrounds look so spectacular, or hand-holding scenes should awaken something in me. <laughs> And you know what? I'll say it. The CG doesn't yeah. even look bad. I think the real reason it stands out points is just because of how goddamn spectacular everything else looks. Which experience is better? I don't know, whatever medium you bloody prefer. Why not both? You have two separate versions, two separate styles, two separate approaches to telling this fantastic story in a way that utilizes their own medium to its highest potential instead of one trying to emulate the other. And I can't even begin to tell you how rare of an occurrence this is. Which is why it blows my mind when I see complaints that this scene doesn't look exactly how it does in the manga, or this isn't how the manga depicted this one thing. We have a chocolate cake and a chocolate ice cream in front of us and people are unhappy that it's not the exact same flavor of chocolate and i'm like bro <laughs> you have a delicious ice cream and cake right in front of you why are you complaining <laughs> chainsaw man is setting up for the series fans said it would be and it hit the jackpot of having an anime production this good while in no way replacing what the manga has done will these 12 episodes live up to the insane hype people said it would reach no but we already knew that so the real question is when the hell are we going to get more of it Oh god, Denji, please stop! His descendants are already dead! Alright, bro. That was fire. That was a good video. Um, Yeah, Chainsaw Man is fire, bro. In my opinion, it's so good, bro. I, I have no complaints about it. I ain't even gonna lie. But anyways, y'all. That was the video. I hope y'all enjoyed that, KZ fam. Stay positive, stay healthy, and most definitely keep that strong mentality, man. Huh? Oh. There we go!